Good afternoon. This is Kathleen and this is my Alabama farm life. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of foraging. We have had a very short winter and uh, a lot of my winter greens that I planted earlier in the season have come up and they look great. However, they started um, popping blooms which is not something that you want your plants to do. When your greens start to bloom, it's normally called bolting, which means that the soil has gotten really warm and it's going to uh, create seeds. When it does that, the greens tend to become bitter, so they're not really good to eat. So I have this problem. I have all these beautiful greens, but I can't eat them because they're bitter. So what am I gonna do with them? I have four beautiful rabbits and I'm gonna make sure that none of these luscious greens go to waste. So in my froggy raised bed, I have a lot of greens. I have some cabbage, arugula, I have some crisp head lettuce, I have Paris Island romaine and I threw a bunch of radish seeds in here. The romaine and the radish seeds are still doing well and haven't bolted, so I should be able to eat those. But everything else has to be cut down and is probably going to have to go. And uh, I'll probably replant some hardier, more warm tolerant varieties a little later. I was actually thinking about starting some kale and putting some kale out here because rabbits really do love kale. Me, I'm not so much a fan, but I think my rabbits would really enjoy it and it would be really healthy for them. So as I'm in here trimming in this bed, I can see that there are a lot of greens here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take what I need and then I can come back day after day and harvest more and have plenty of greens for my rabbits to eat. This will give the arugula and the radishes and the Paris Island romaine and everything else a chance to regrow. So this is a good start to the forage I'm gonna feed my rabbits, but it is not enough. Now throughout my yard, there are all kinds of greens that are popping up. And I don't know the names of all of them. And I do have a plant identifier, so I'm trying to be careful what not to feed them. But I think I've got some henbit here and some wild geranium, and um, those are okay for my rabbits to eat. So I'm gonna harvest a little bit of this. I also found some common vetch, and I had to go look that up because I had no clue if rabbits could eat it or not. But apparently rabbits love it, so it is going into the pot. Now I searched all over my yard looking for dandelion, but unfortunately I really don't have any. But what I do have a lot of is wild lettuce. So we're gonna harvest as much of this as possible because all I'm gonna do is just chop it down. It is a weed, it gets really tall. And um, for me, it doesn't have any use, but uh, I think the rabbits are gonna love it. So I'm gonna give them all the wild lettuce I can find. I also have a lot of white clover in my yard and it is growing like crazy. I'm getting some nice big leaves off of this clover and I know that my rabbits are going to love it. So I'm gonna harvest as much as possible. Mm -hmm. 
I love these little nippers, but uh, sometimes I think it's just easier to go in and pull everything up by hand than to uh, to use these little scissor things. It just seems like it's so much slower. So I'm just gonna rip them out and throw it in the basket. Now I also found some, what I thought was plantain, but it's not. This is flea bane, and it can be poisonous, but this is some young leaves, and from what I found, it's only poisonous to dog, dogs and cats, or it irritates their stomach. But I'm gonna go ahead and feed it to the rabbits. Anyway, it should be okay. I didn't put a whole lot in the basket, and, and I won't use it again, just in case. So as you can see, bunnies are loving the greens. And I'm trying to do this every day, um, although uh, I'm probably going to have to go further away, maybe across the street to Eleanor's house, because I am running out of forage for the rabbits now. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you were entertained or at least learned something. You guys have a blessed and joyous day, and I will see you on my next video.